Hello, this is Shane from Alien Igloo. This is the first in the series of videos on setting up everything needed for the Smith & Martin door touch controllers. In this first video, which is for Mac users, I'll show you how to set up a multi-touch monitor on your Mac specifically for use with Emulator Pro. First you're going to need to check that your monitor is going to be compatible with the Mac. So you need to go to touchbase.com and see if there is a driver available. If so, download the demo to check it's going to work. As you can see, there is a long list of monitors that are supported. Personally, I use the Acer T232. Once you've verified that the driver does work, you need to go ahead and purchase the driver. Unfortunately, it is quite expensive, um, but I think it's well worth it. Also, if you are using it just for personal use at home, you can contact them and they will give you a reduced price. Once you have your driver, next you need to add some multi-touch goodness to it. And so you need to download the gesture application. This is an extra file which enables the normal multi-touch gestures within Mac OS X. The easiest way to find these extra things is if you go to the documentation section and scroll down to the bottom of the general and you'll see that there's gestures and inking. So go ahead and download the version of that for Mac. Once you've downloaded this, simply run it um, and you can select it so that it starts and it login every time. Once this is running, this will give you your normal mode touch so you can scroll between full screen apps like that and open and close mission control and things like that. It'll also allow you obviously to be able to scroll up and down. The final part to the puzzle, and probably the most important part, is the TUIO server. Now this took me a while to find and to realise this is actually the bit that's needed to make emulator work. So again, at the bottom of the general section, if you click on TUIO, and scroll down, you should see a little link which says download here. So there you go, in the Mac OS X section, there's a word here, click on that and that will download the zip file. Again, you just run this, it doesn't install and you can just have it so that it automatically loads up at startup. So these are the three files you need, the driver, the gestures and the TUIO server. Okay, so in running the installer, it'll want to restart because of the 32-bit, 64-bit business. Um, you can see each of the installers is tailored personally for your monitor. So just run through, install this. I won't bother now because obviously I've got it already installed. Okay, once the drive's installed, you will have uh, an item in your utilities folder called UPP, UPDD console where you can go in and set up a few things. Um, click mode, you've got a choice between click and drag and interactive touch. I've left it on click and drag, it seems to work fine. You can also calibrate your monitor and there's a handy test, test screen. So you can just draw in single mode. And if you go up to the top where the little mouse icon is, if you click on there and change that to touch mode, you can test out your multi-touch that it's working. So 
there you go, 10 point multi-touch running on Mac. Next we need to go ahead and enable the gestures. If you unzip it, you'll get this little gesture hand, which you can then copy into your applications folder, run it, and you'll have these set of preferences. You can basically choose what you want to do on touches and swipe. What I've done is I've disabled four finger and three finger up and down swipes because obviously if you're using multiple faders in emulator you don't want it to start actually doing anything for the operating system. But I've left the four finger swipes for between apps left and right because at no point in emulator am I going to be swiping left and right with four fingers. You can see that in gestures there actually is a section for the TUIO server. I found that this just doesn't work, or at least I can't configure it to work, which is why I've needed to download the TUI server separately. Um, obviously to start with this was quite confusing because I assumed that it wasn't going to work with emulator, but we got there eventually. As you can see the gestures are working, just the same as if you were using the touchpad on a MacBook or so. So the final part, as I said, is the TUIO server. This is the bit for emulator. Again, just copy it to your applications or utilities folder. Simply run it. It'll vanish up into your taskbar. I don't need two running, so I'll close one. Okay, nothing really to set up in here. Have it so that it runs at login. Don't start the same rate packets as UPDD. This will slow things down and it goes horribly wrong. Also, if you've got gestures running, you don't need to mouse up emulation because that's all taken care of by the gestures software. So hopefully with all these things running, we should now be able to start up emulator. create ourselves a couple of quick faders and we should have full control so there we go that's how you get your multi-touch running in Mac OS X so you can use it with emulator Okay, thanks for watching, um, that's it. Next videos, we're gonna be looking at setting up MIDI in both Mac and Windows. See you soon.